Um, you know, we got, we got off to a rough start, and we struggled a little bit, and uh, Ohio State hit nine threes, and, you know, we just, we just couldn't recover from that. Uh, and, and I felt like, um, you know, we had a really good game plan. We played really well against them, uh, our senior group, and uh, I thought we were ready to play. And, uh, you know, you got to give them credit. They just made a lot of shots, took us out of what we did. And, uh, you know, uh, really that was, you know, the story of tonight's game or, or today's game. Uh, on, on the other side of that, I can't tell you what these three student athletes have done for our program, for Northwestern. Um, you know, we're 20 and 11. They've won 23 games, got to the NCAA tournament. They've averaged probably 20 wins a year, but more importantly, the impact they've made on, on Northwestern women's basketball nationwide. And uh, as student athletes in the community, everything they've done, just really proud of them. And uh, I think, you know, there's a chance we might get to play again. You know, those things, uh, you know, are out of our hands right now. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. But uh, again, you know, um, played such a great game against Iowa and to come back today just didn't just didn't just didn't play as well as we're capable so so disappointed but really proud of this team okay we'll take questions for the uh, students please right here Ashley it seemed like in that first half first quarter especially you guys really struggled to get good looks offensively what do you think that was um, we just had difficulty breaking their press and then for any of you, turnovers were obviously a big issue. What kind of went wrong in the game plan that led to so many turnovers? Naya? Nia, I'm sorry. Um, their press was giving us a lot of problems, and we just turned over the ball a lot, um, and we just couldn't get into our flow on offense. Anything else? for the OK, we'll open it up to questions for anyone up here. Actually got into first half foul trouble. You guys were struggling against the press. How much was that a turning point to have to go deeper into the bench and find some options at the point? Yeah, I mean, listen, Ashley Deary is, um, you know, she's played probably more, I don't even know, that this, in four years, probably as many minutes as anybody in the history of this program. So, um, you know, it's hard to be on the floor without her. And picking up three fouls, you know, put us in a, in a bind there. But, um, you know, again, uh, the things that the things that we probably needed to do that we did in the first game against Ohio State, um, you know, we just couldn't get done today against the press. And, uh, Go ahead. Coach, you already sort of touched on it in the opening statement, but what has sort of the senior class meant to the, the program and then just to you as, as a head coach, having them on the team? Well, I think, I think the biggest thing to me personally was uh, – you know, all three, all three uh, that are sitting here could have went to hundreds of schools all over the country and, you know, had great high school careers, were highly recruited, great student athletes. So for them to take a chance on Northwestern and then on me, you know, because, um, you know, at the time we were just building, uh, we, were, we were trying to turn the program around. And, you know, I spent a lot of time recruiting all three and, and I'm really proud that you know, they bought in not just to uh, to me, but to Northwestern and our family and, and our family atmosphere. Coach, uh, you guys got into a bit of foul trouble early in the game um, and in the third quarter. Uh, how how were you guys adjusting to sort of uh, Ashley and Mia getting the three early fouls? Yeah, obviously, you know, we 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 could have done a better job handling the press. You know, with Ashley out and. Um, you know, we, we, we just didn't do a very good job of uh, – and, and Ohio State did a really good job of getting in passing lanes, trapping us, deflections, forced us to play faster than we wanted. So, you know, I think that, you know, that led to us taking some uh, – not just turnovers, but some quick shots, too, that, you know, we thought, you know, kind of played into the transition of both teams. Kind of going off that, even when you did break the press, it seemed like you were out of sync offensively. Did the press – was the press a, a component of that of not being able to run really crisp sets? 
I think there was some of that. I think when we did break it, we were able to score. You know, when we were able to run our offense and reverse the ball, we were able to get good shots. Um, you know, I, I don't know how much playing yesterday, you know, with so many injuries we have played into today, but, you know, we're, we're not a program that was built on excuses. Um, it's, not, it's not how we ended up being, a, uh, you, you know, Northwestern. So um, just didn't get it done. You know, just didn't, just didn't execute, to, didn't make the right pass at the right time. And, um, you know, when you win 20 games and, and you, you know, you have uh, over 500, what are we, 500 record in the Big Ten, you, you, we've made a lot of great plays this year. So, you know, today was, uh, I think, an exception to who we are.